Hello, welcome to another episode of Talking Treasures. I'm Glenn Rodley and I'm Curator of Natural Science. We may be closed again for now, but we want to show you as much as we can through our website and social media channels. So today we're going to look at another object from our Curious and Curious exhibition, Alice's Adventures in the Museum Wonderland. One of the most memorable scenes in Lewis Carroll's classic story is the meeting of Alice and the caterpillar, sitting upon a large, from their perspective, mushroom. The caterpillar advises Alice that one half of the mushroom will help her grow to her original height, while the other side will shrink her. The caterpillar provides no hints as to which side is which, so Alice is left with no choice but to tentatively nibble each side in turn to find out. Alice skirts with danger many times during her story, but this act of eating a mysterious unidentified mushroom is probably one of the most dangerous. As the proverb goes, all fungi are edible. Some fungi are only edible once. Fungi is a kingdom of life, separate to plants and animals, and while often thought of as being like plants, they are more closely related to animals. They exist almost everywhere, forming brass vanishing thread-like networks under the ground, called mycelium. These mycelia break down decaying organic matter, like dead leaves, wood and animals, and absorb nutrients, recycling them back into the ecosystem. They connect to plant roots to create a network of nutrient sharing between trees and other plants, creating a symbiotic relationship across vast distances. The mushrooms that we picture when thinking of fungi are just the tips of the iceberg. They're the fruiting bodies produced by the mycelium to distribute reproductive spores. These examples that we have on display are made of wax. Preserved specimens tend to lose their colour and shape, so these models are used to show what they used to look like in life. We do, however, have almost 2,000 real dried fungus specimens in our collections, which contribute to our knowledge of local biodiversity. Foraging for edible fungi is a popular hobby, but extreme care must be taken. This exhibition carries this warning. Fungi can be difficult to identify, with the appropriately named death cap resembling several edible species. The false death cap is not dangerous, but is still considered unedible as it doesn't taste very nice and isn't worth the risk of confusing with the death cap. Most fatal mushroom poisonings can be attributed to the death cap, with an estimated 30 grams being enough to kill. Survivors often require liver transplants. The red and white toadstool of fairy tale imagery is the fly agaric. It belongs to the same family as the death cap, the amanita. The fly agaric is poisonous, although deaths are rare and it is eaten in some parts of the world. Proper care and preparation is needed while cooking to break down the poisons, so don't try it at home. It's one of over 200 mushrooms that produce psilocybin, which can cause hallucinations. Fungi have impacted the culture and industry of civilizations for millennia. Fungi have been used to ferment sugars to make alcohol, bread and cheese for around 10,000 years. In recent decades, genetic modification of single-celled fungi allows us to synthesize medicines and biofuel. The branching mycelium that forms a communal web of fungal life can be grown to form dense, specific structures that can be manufactured as an environmentally friendly alternative to plastic, replacing materials such as styrofoam and packaging, or even creating larger items such as furniture. So maybe in the not too distant future, a fungus will be one of the keys to creating a sustainable society. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Be sure to keep an eye on our website and social media channels for future episodes.